New information tonight about the abuse suffered by three-year-old Francion Pierre, who disappeared more than 30 years ago. The cold case from 1986 finally generating an arrest, as we told you here last night, the little boy's mother being brought back to Las Vegas now to face murder charges. Gerard Romalo is following this investigation. He joins us live from North Las Vegas Police Headquarters with our top story. Yeah, Jim, we've been able to comb through this affidavit and it does in fact detail some of the abuse that this child suffered prior to his alleged disappearance. The details here have many asking the question tonight, why was the child allowed to return to an abusive home in the first place? Three-year-old Francian Pierre's disappearance in 1986 baffled a community. Now, more than 30 years later, there are still lingering questions, including why authorities would allow the child to be returned to the couple charged with abusing him. And nowadays, this would have never, ever uh, been anything but a petition to make the child a ward of the state. Damian Sheets is a criminal defense attorney who handles domestic and child abuse cases. After looking over the affidavit and details of the abuse, he believes there were missteps. I just hope that Joe is not feeling as, as alone as I do sometimes. That was Amy Fleming in 1986 after Francian's alleged disappearance. Only a year prior, she admitted to police she whipped him on his back because that's the part that hurts. She also admitted making him sleep on the patio as punishment. The affidavit also documents how Francian had been found one time with 25 to 30 welts, another time with a large bruise from his ear to his mouth. Sheets says in today's courts, abusive parents are sometimes reunited with their children, but not until proving they are fit to parent. As for the Fleming case. There are some people who just don't have any remorse and just don't get it and don't want to become better people. And I think that this is one of those cases. Yeah, in the past 30 years, the laws have certainly become more stringent. There's also been uh, the development of some nonprofit groups and child advocacy groups that work on behalf of victims like this. Now, we did get an update on Fleming. Uh, she is still in transit back here to Las Vegas. She's expected to arrive either tomorrow or the next day to face those murder charges. I'm Gerard Romal reporting live. Jim and Marie, back to you.